What's up guys, Easy Philosophy, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be about the elements of Euclid. Now the element of Euclid is a book about math, and I know this is a philosophy channel, but I thought it might be fun to switch things up a bit. So here we have it, the elements of Euclid. Now before we get into anything, there are some basic definitions that we need to know. So let's see. Definition 1. A point is that which has no parts. This definition can literally not be any more straightforward. A point has no parts, it's just a point. It's a fundamental point. Definition 2. A line is length without breadth. Now, you may be wondering. What is breadth? It's a bit of a weird word, uh, and it sounds like something to do with bread, but it actually means the distance or measurement from side to side of something. It's basically width. So with this information, we can reword the definition. A line is length without width. Now over here, now we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. And as you can see, there's length and width. Now what it's saying is basically a line is the length without the width. So if we take away the width, we're left with the length. And that is a line. Definition 3. The extremities of a line are points. Now an extremity is the furthest point or limit of something. So the furthest point or limit of a line are the points. Definition 4. A straight or right line is that which lies evenly between its extremities. Now over here we have the limits. This line is a straight line because it lies evenly between its limits, its boundaries. Now over here this is an example of something that is not a straight line. The line is wobbly and it doesn't lie evenly between its extremities. Now definition 5. A surface is that which has length and breadth only. So this is a surface. For example, it only has length and width. Two lengths and two widths. And that creates the grayish surface. Definition 6. The extremities of a surface are lines. So we reword this. The limits of a surface are lines. Now, over here, you see the grayish surface we were talking about in slide 5. Now, the boundaries of this figure are the red lines. The two lengths and the two widths. So anything outside of those lines are not part of the surface of our rectangular figure. Why? Because the boundary of the figure are the lines. Definition 7. A plane surface is that which lies evenly between its extremities. Now this is very similar to the straight line definition. You know, a straight line lies evenly between its extremities. This is kind of the same thing. But we're talking about a different dimensional figure now. So over here, we have a parallelogram. This is a plane surface because it lies evenly between its extremities. It's even. But this is not because it's wavy, it's, a, it's like an ocean, it's waves. It doesn't lie evenly between its extremities. Now definition 8. A plane angle is an inclination of two lines to one another in a plane which meet together but are not in the same direction. Hey there great people. Sorry to cut off the video right there but I didn't want the videos to get too long because it is math and math can get a bit boring. So long story short, this series the videos are going to be a bit shorter. So in part 2 we will be discussing Definition 8, 9, and 10.
so stick around. Part 2 should be coming out shortly. Bye guys, thank you.